Iterating through objects in JavaScript can sometimes be so confusing, especially when the object is deeply nested. In this video, I'll show you how to easily iterate through a deeply nested object in JavaScript. So we have this cars object over here, and it consists of two properties which are the label and subs that go on getting more and more nested as you move deeper into the object. Our goal is to write a function that iterates through this object and returns all the labels in the following manner. So in short, we can iterate through the nested object using recursive function calls to access each key value pair and console log them. So first, I'll create a function named iterate object, which takes an object obj as its parameter. This is the object you want to iterate through. After that, I'll write a for in loop. The for in loop iterates over each property of the object. In this case, it iterates over the properties of the cars object. Then, inside the loop, I will check the type of the value associated with the current key using type of object of key triple equals to object. If the value is an object and not null, it means that it's a nested object or an array. So if the value is indeed an object, we can call the function recursively with that particular nested object as the argument. This is how it goes deeper into the hierarchy of the object, exploring nested objects and arrays. And note that everything in JavaScript is an object. So when our for loop reaches the subs property, the iterate object function will be triggered because subs is an array and arrays in JavaScript are also an object. So the object of key will become this array when the for loop reaches the subs property. And when dealing with arrays, the key in for in refers to the array index. So when subs becomes the object being received as the parameter, the key in for loop would point to the index of the subs array, which are 0, 1, 2, and so on. And of course, obj of that index would be nothing but subs of the index, which is nothing but these individual objects. So keep this in mind, that arrays are also objects in JavaScript, and the key refers to indexes while working with arrays using the for in loop. So now, with that said, we can write the else condition, which is, if the value is not an object, it means that it's a leaf level property, which means it's a primitive value like a string, number, and so on. In this case, we can simply log the key and the corresponding value. And now this should allow the recursion to continue until all nested levels of the object have been traversed. So now, if I call the iterate obj function down here, you can see we get the list of all labels nicely logged out. So by using this recursive approach, the iterate object function can navigate through the nested object structure and log all the key value pairs at each level of the hierarchy. This is a common technique for working with deeply nested structures in JavaScript. So that's all for the video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe.